Hello YouTube and welcome to a brand new Unity 3D tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to carry on with our cage object kind of thing and what we're going to do is actually add some features to it so like when it drops it'll puff out smoke which will fade out so it looks like it's actually at the ground which will look quite cool hopefully. We're going to add a couple of effects inside of it so like maybe a couple of fireworks so it's a cage containing fireworks or something's running around inside it I'm not sure. And then we're going to add a sound effect to it, so when we drop it, it goes boom, as if it's like it's actually dropped. So inside it, what we're going to do is we need something to do something, hopefully, because otherwise it'll look crappy. So we're going to go in and we'll just create a cube, just like this. And as long as it's inside it, I'm going to increase the size of it, 222, two, two. come down to the side. And I'm just going to put it on the floor. Well, not actually on the floor, but close. And I'm going to remove the collider because we don't need it. So this cube, I'm going to add inside our cage building, and I'm going to call it object. Yeah. And I'm just going to go window animation. So new animation, and I'm going to go into it. I'm going to go and create a new folder called landscapes. I'm going to type buildings and um, a new folder called cage building and we'll call this object animation animation yes so this is just a basic one all I'm gonna do is make it move a little so it'd be like a real life cube or something and a cube that's alive yeah so move it back a little bit I'm gonna go to two it's gonna slowly go back to the other one and I'm gonna move that to four actually because then it'll wait even longer. Then for 8, I'm going to make it stay relatively still. Yeah. And then all the way to 12, I'm going to make it fly over here. I apologize for my dog. She never shuts up. And I'm going to go back to 16. And I'm going to drag it back to the front. And then for the 18th one, I'm going to put it back to where it was. Otherwise, it'll look like it jumps, and we don't want it jumping. So for the 20th then, not the 18th, I'll say back to there. Then we'll come back to the number 1. Grab this one, take it back up. See, this is what I like about editing animation in 3ds Max. You can copy and paste keyframes, so it copies and pastes all the position too. So it's really, really simple to do. And we'll put this back here. So just relatively skipping through it you can see it'll just slowly bounce around. But obviously it'll loop properly when we do it. So I'm just gonna around about ten I'm just gonna make it lift up a little bit. I don't know, just to add some excitement to it so it just bounces up. So it just comes down, bounces up and then lands back. Yeah, it'll do. So that should be inside there. I'm going to come into this cage building and turn off object follow mouse just so it doesn't crash while we play it. And I'm going to drag it to the side and I'm just going to have a look in inside it see what happens. Because if it looks terrible and we don't like it then there's no point carrying on. So when we've got play you see it bounces around. So you can come in and you can see this cube flying around. So obviously we can go through it at the moment, so don't worry about it too much. But maybe if we should add some flames to back at cube, that'd be funny. Yeah. So do we have any fire or thrust? Okay, we don't. So all I'm going to do is just make a quick one then. So the front is where the arrow is pointing, so the back will be here. So I'm just going to go add component, and we'll say. Um, particle, ellipsoid, renderer, animator. So I've done them backwards again. We'll just say fire particles, just like that. We'll say 0 0.3, 0 0.5. Mm, I'll leave them where they are. And I'll just push it backwards. So x5. Okay, not x, z. Minus 5. 
So it's looking okay. I'll add some more to it. So it's, in fact, I'll leave it. I'll just increase the size. One. And I'll turn down the ellipsoid a little bit. Point eight. Point eight. Point eight. Just so it looks like it's pushing itself with fire. I don't know. And then for the energy, I'll just set it to two two. Because I only want it pushing back a little bit. So 1.4, 1.4. Yeah, that'll do. So now when it goes, it should hopefully look like it's pushing itself with fire. If we've animated it right. If not, we'll have to go back in and just change it. So as you can see... Uh, it looks okay. What I'm going to do though is remove this force off of it, so minus 5, so it's got nothing. And I'm actually going to go and put it in local velocity. Velocity, like you already know, is force. So if we add it, no matter what rotation the cube is in, it'll have it. So 5 is a bit more powerful than there. So that'll do. So it just looks like it's pushing itself. It looks alright. There we go. So that works there. So our next object is we're going to add the smoke. So don't worry about that one. That's just a glitch. So we have that. I'm going to drag it back into our cage building there. So what we need to do is add some particles under this. So as soon as it lands, the particles emit. So this is really easy to do. But the only thing is we have with this is we've got to make sure every single one of the buildings have the particles. And I know we're probably going to anyway. But I'm going to go in and create an empty game object, stick it inside cage building, and set it to 000. zero, zero. And it'll be in the middle, roughly. So I need to go in and just move it down, see if the cube's size is 25, so 15 minus. Where are they? Wow, not minus 15 then. Minus 1. Ooh, that's still too much. Wow. 0 0.5. There we go. Just so it's on the bottom of it, because that's where it'll be spawning from, right? So I'm going to come in, and all I'm going to do is add our three particle things again. Particle emitter, particle animator, particle renderer. Got it right this time. So our material is going to be smoke. Uh, that smoke. It's going to be smoke for a reason, because we don't have dirt or debris. So see debris no. So but what we can do is tint it brownie, brown, red, well green. Maybe a different colour of brown. Mix in some blue. I don't know why, and some black. So then hopefully when we stretch it and everything, it'll look okay. So, so I have no idea how we're going to make these particles good, but hey, we'll have a look. So I'm going to say 10, 1, 10. The y-axis doesn't need to be very big. And if this cube is 25, then maybe 15. I don't, actually that makes no sense, but hey. So emission will say um, 499500. So there's a lot of them. Max size, I'll say 1, 1. For the force, we'll say, in fact, I'll just give it a size growth point two, so it gets bigger and bigger. And I'll set the size to 25, 25. Boom. So obviously that looks awful. So I'm going to go in and get rid of the ground, well, the ones that look awful. <laughs> and try to make it look like dirt. So we have some reds in there. So it kind of looks a bit like dirt if you really want to say it does. So I turn size grow up to 5. So that's what I'm really going for. I want it to be small, slowly increase, but then just fade out. Which is looking like it might not happen. <laughs> but hey, what I might do is just make it land like that. So it lands, it goes poof, and then it fades out. So I'm going to stick our fade out script on it. Fading destroy. 
boom. There, turn the timer down to say 400. So hopefully when it lands it'll look good, maybe. And we'll say particles for it. And I'll drag cage building in, back into where it should belong. So, uh, cage building. What we need to do though is when we click on our button, so where is it? It will be on cage building. Okay, yeah, object follow mouse, we have it right. So when it loads down here, I'm simply going to type, as soon as we press it, so it's beginning to fall, game object dot find, in fact, transform dot find to search inside it, transform dot find particles dot. Um, so the component that we need is particle renderer. And the reason is, is because you can't actually access ellipsoid particle emitter through script and you can't really turn particle animator off. But particle renderer turns it on or off. So if we just say game object or find, it won't find it if we turn it off up here. So we just hide it like that. And then we come in, tell it to turn on, it'll turn on. Boom, fade out, gone. And then we can put dot enabled equals true. So we come in make sure it's disabled and let the error go away drag cage building down here after we've turned the mouse script back on otherwise we'll get an error so drag it down play delete so we play and we should be able to drag it around and it shouldn't go off but then as soon as we click the mouse button it should go off so I put down and you ready boom so I think that smoke needs to fade out a little bit better so we're gonna go in to cage building and we'll get particles turn the timer down to 100 so it's really really quick and we do want to destroy the particles after it's landed otherwise it won't work very well because the particles would always be there and it's laggy, it'll lag more. So put down, boom. Yeah, that's getting better. I'll turn it to 50 and then we'll leave it there. The only thing left is to use the audio now. So the audio is really, really okay. I, I like it myself, it's up to you what you think. So the sound we've got is a simple building drop which was provided, well, found by my friend Darwin Colgan, you all know his YouTube channel, I speak a lot, and it's this one. So that's in the description. So what we can do is put that on so when we drop the building, it goes poof and plays. Really simple to do as well, that's how cool it is. So we're going to go and find our building again because wherever, where it's gone, I've lost everything. Resources, buildings, cage building here. We're going to add an audio source to it, boom, and we're going to make it play, not play on a wig, not yet, but what we're going to do is stick our audio clip on already, so when we save it as a prefab, hopefully it should keep the audio, boom. So building drop, we want it as 3D sound, but we'll just turn the volume up a little bit. Uh, max distance, we'll say 1500, so hopefully you still can hear it. So it's not going to be super loud, but if it's far away, you'll still hear it. And then what we'll do is we can actually go to our script, object follow mouse, and as soon as we click it, we just put audio.play. So as soon as we click it, audio.play. A-U-D-I dot play. And what play will do is just play the audio of what's already equipped, hopefully. So play one shot, you have to set your own, or your play should play what's already there. So what I'm going to do is drag our cage building into the object, and I'm going to go into the audio and see if I can turn it up a little bit as well. So, so I'm going to go and turn the minimum distance to 0 0.1, so you're really close, and the max distance is 500, so it's quite close, but hopefully it should work. And I'll just click. So we're going to drag this back into our prefabs. 
we'll delete it and we'll click play so hopefully this should sound really really cool so we drop it you'll see particles come out and it'll go boom hopefully I don't want to make it 2D sound Ooh, wrong button e. put down put it down oh wrong button so of course I never even heard that so we're going error 23 don't worry about that one so I'm going to turn this maximum distance to 3000 maybe that'll work because it's I don't get the audio source really we need to find a better way but yeah so I drop it down so I changed the minimum distance back to 1 because it was not hearing it hardly I really need to get used to this audio source quickly but hey so I changed it to 1 and if we listen very 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 quietly you might be able to hear it so put down oh dear <laughs> well if you put on your character you get a funny glitch but um, yeah so you did hear it, it did work so just quickly before I end the tutorial I found the good one if you come to volume rollover off and click linear it sounds so much louder and better so we'll try it then I'll end this tutorial so I'll talk as we're trying it so thank you for watching really hope you liked it this is the sound you kidding me oh my it didn't even work okay so I made it work this time it turns out you've got a range on it but if I put it here okay I just give up with the other source it's being silly it did work every time I click record it don't work but if I try it off screen it works, it's annoying. We'll fix it another time. Thank you for watching, sorry for that inconvenience. Really hope you liked it, just to base some effects for it so it's not a boring cage. We'll add some more buildings maybe another time, some cool ones, fireworks, I don't know. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.